Calculate the all-in cost of a revolving line of credit. Fulleroid Limited has an approved $300,000 committed line of credit with the Banque de la Nouvelle Ecosse on May 1st, 2021. The interest, an interest rate of prime plus 1.8% was negotiated along with a commitment fee of 0.25% and a compensating balance of 5%. The prime rate at the beginning of the month was 4%. Interest is calculated daily and paid at the end of each month. So the balance at the line of credit during May was from 1st to the 10th of the month, $105,000 from the 11th to the 24th of the month, $182,000, and from the 25th to the end of the month, $210,000. During the month, the prime rate increased from to 5% on the 17th of May, 2021. First of all, we want to calculate the APR, cost of borrowing for May. And then we also want to cost the calculate the EAR cost of this credit based on the month of May. So the annual percentage rate and the effective annual rate. So we will start by calculating the amount paid to use the letter of, uh, line of credit. How do we do that? Well, it is the, just the sum of the interest cost for the amounts used and also the commitment fee for the unused amounts. So let's take a look to, at the numbers that are given to us here. We start off by having a prime plus 1.8%, which was negotiated, as we can see here. And the prime rate at the start of the month was 4%. And you can see here later on, it was uh, increased to 5% at, uh, on the May 17th. Then finally, for the commitment fee, we have to keep in mind that the commitment fee is 0.25% on the uh, proved line of credit, which was $300,000. So on the basis of a 4% plus a 1.8% uh, margin, we're looking at 5.8%, which was paid until, uh, or had to be paid and recalculated on the basis of all amounts until May 16th. And from May 17th onward, we have 5% plus the 1.8% margin. So we are looking at 6.8% total and the commitment fee is just noted out here. So the next thing we want to do is because we have a change in the interest calculation, we need to cut the period for when the interest rate changes. So uh, until between the 11th and the 16th, where we had 182,000, we're gonna separate that from the 17th to the 24th with the same amount, but a different rate. So we do that here. And then we also calculated the number of days for each of those interest rate periods. So secondly, we'll calculate the interest on the amounts withdrawn. That's simply the amount times the rate times the days divided by 365. So that's done here, the interest amounts. And then we're going to find out the for the commitment fee, we need to figure out the unused portion of the line of credit. Remember, we had 300,000 as the amount. So the amount, the difference between the amount that was actually used and 300,000, are that's the unused portion. So we'll start with 105,000. That would be 300,000 minus 105,000. That would give us 195,000. So we'll continue with that. So there we have the unused portions. Now we can calculate the interest on that, or rather the, not the interest, I should say the commitment fee, and that's 0.25%. So that's the unused amount times 0.25% times the days divided by 365. Now we have that. And finally, we just need to sum it all up. And this, to sum it up, that's the interest amounts that we have here, plus the commitment uh, fee. So we can sum it up. And we get the grand total for the month, and that is simply $914.48. So now we have the cost for the month of May, and now we have to see what the basis was, the amount that we used. So we need to calculate the weighted amount of the money that has been withdrawn. Now we again, we have the figures. We calculate the weighted average of the money borrowed. Now the money borrowed is again is the 105, 182, and 210. 
and we've done this previously so the weighted average is simply the 105,000 times 10 and the 182,000 times the 6 plus 8 days 210,000 times the 7 days that gives us a total of $163,483 for the month of course that's how much we borrowed how much we actually uh, took advantage of or how much the company could utilize has to do with the compensating balance so coming back to the question the wording of the question you can see here they're talking about a compensating of balance of five percent what that essentially means is that five percent of the amount borrowed must be kept as a deposit so the average amount that was actually withdrawn is not the same that was borrowed so we have to remove five percent from that total so 95 percent of 163,000 that gives us the 155,000 that was the average amount withdrawn so now we can calculate the total or the how much the cost of borrowing for the month of May we have 914 dollars which was how much we paid or had to pay in interest plus commitment fee divided by the 155,000 that was actually borrowed so that is for the month of May 0.5888 percent just a small note uh, if you have an intermediate calculation it's good to keep as many significant figures as you can because of course if you're using them uh, as the basis for further calculations your uh, final answer can drift quite far from the correct answer if you don't do that and given our calculators we have the capacity of keeping all the significant figures that we need so we're going to use 0.5888 percent now all we have left is to annualize that rate so the annual percentage rate the APR is simply the period return times the number of periods per year so we have as a number of periods per year we're going to have divide uh, 365 by the 31 days we have in this period now some types of questions uh, some people would just multiply the answer by 12 they'll take May times 12 um, there's not a big significant difference between the answers there I tend to like using the actual number of days because shorter months are shorter longer months are longer so APR here we have is 6.93 percent and the effective annual rate we're going to do the same thing in terms of the number of periods but of course the equation is 1 plus the EAR is 1 plus the period return to the power of the periods per year so the period return again is the 0.5888 percent we had and then the number of periods we have uh, we used is 365 over 31 that gives us an effective annual rate of 7.16 percent so there we have it thank you for your attention and hope that helped